Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We needed a new deck to face off against the first guy, GR Castle, so that's what we did. The Legends deck has been born. I should actually just use the start button. So I based it off of Water and Fire. Um, I, I did have to have all the Legends in there, but I'm not going to really use one of them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So I got double colorless energy, and uh, like, you know, for the Dragonite line, all the colorless attacks and stuff like that, but I've also got rainbow energy, because a lot of stuff requires very specific energy, so I think it's worth the 10 damage, I would say. Uh, I got this version of Growlithe, and this Arcanine in one, and this one in one. I, just, I feel like it just kind of fits the whole Legends theme here, because they always describe Arcanine as being like legendary in the Pokedexes and stuff like that. Uh, Magmar is not so much a legend, but it has had some legendary moments, so I figured that would be fitting as well. And this is the first of the actual legendary cards here, Moltres. That will help thin the deck, you know, Firegiver from Courtney and whatever. So that'll, that'll be pretty nice. Uh, another sort of kind of legend is the Gyarados line. Well, Magikarp, the Gyarados line. Got two of these, one of these, and then two of these. So I figured, yep, that, that seems kind of fitting as well. As is Lapras, as it's kind of known to be rare and mythical and ish sort of kind of. So I guess you could say it's sort of kind of like legendary. <laughs> See what I'm going with this here? <laughs> Um, Articuno, Legendary, Quick Freeze, possibly causes paralysis, and this is the one that I just put in, because I have to put it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I might not actually even put it in on the bench, because I might hurt myself putting it in play with the Peel of Thunder, and I, I would never even use Big Thunder. <laughs> There is a one-hit, like, one-turn kill deck based around Zapdos and a lot of luck, but it's, yeah, it's very, very inconsistent. It's, it, it, it revolves around, like, scooping it back up, like, multiple copies of it and putting it back in play, like, item finder and stuff. Yeah, it's... Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> I've seen it work before, but it doesn't work all that often. Now, of course, you gotta have Dratini. Dragonair, of course, that's definitely, and Dragonite, definitely, because I kind of need that as well. This is the Healing Wind variety, as I need that Legendary, and as for the trainers, as you see, it's based around the Stop It deck. Because I figure since this deck doesn't have that much synergy, I guess you could say, I figured I would need all that I can get to make it as good as I can get it, so I went for that as like the basis. I got scoop up to reuse legendary powers. Uh, I only have two bill because I was lacking in room and I also want so I was like, yeah I kind of want the Pokemon trader instead of the bill because yeah I can get any sort of legendary that I want using that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> and that is the deck. So how are we gonna test that deck? Well, what if I were to tell you that Step 4 has been unlocked? Would you believe me? Woohoo! It's Mint, back for more. Since I've composed a deck myself, you could fight me normally this time. Or would you rather retry some of our training exercises? Well, as you can see, you shouldn't believe me, because there's actually no Step 4 in this game. Will you duel me, or would you like to train? Yeah, see, it just goes straight to the duel, and there's actually no Step 4 tutorial or anything like that. So, I don't know when this unlocks exactly, I just know it unlocks pretty far into the GR Island Saga. It, it, yeah, so, he's obviously gotta have some pretty decent decks then, right? Well, actually, yes, because it's fairly late in the game, so this is like, the big tests of Eren right here, only it's not a test. It's a real fight with live weapons. Did you seal that line from Mitch? It's a rough battle of my, de <laughs> my deck against your deck. <laughs> I made two decks that you have the choice to fight against, but you don't really have a choice. You just kinda... fix one. <laughs> that being so, which deck will I challenge you with? Four prize cards, let's start the battle! <laughs> Bench of <Earl. laughs> Yeah! How, 
How dangerous could this deck be? <laughs> and let's see. Oh no! <laughs> Why? Well, I could lead with it and just let it get knocked out. And then it. <laughs> since it's the first turn, it won't use that possible backfire of a Pokemon power. So I'll just kind of. I'll just kind of do that. <laughs> Oh man, I was hoping that would be the, at the bottom of my deck. <laughs> oh man. Well, at least it's got 100 HP to stall with. <laughs> so I'm gonna, of course, go for the Gyarados. Because that's what it appears to be the most powerful that I have. Oh jeez. <laughs> but he may have a more powerful... I'll oh, shoot. <laughs> he may have more power than I do. Um, well, maybe for now. I don't know. <laughs> uh, eh, eh, well, you know what? Gyarados requires really specific energy. Maybe I should hope for <laughs> a Dragonair then. Because, yeah, Gyarados is all water. That variety. That's part of why I had the Rainbow Energy too. Because it requires very, very specific energy types. Anyway, there we go, and we're done. <laughs> not, not really much I can do. Oh, you drew another one of those. I see. So yeah, it's just kind of a rocky start, but there's four prize cards, so not really too worried about anything in general there. Why are you putting so much energy on this electrode? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I get... Ah... Uh, I, I... I... I don't know. <laughs> Alright, plop that on there. Plop that on the bench and keep it going. It'll take two more attacks for that electrode. Uh, I don't know, maybe he's planning the, the chain lightning whenever I put something else in. Ooh, RK9. Um, yeah, maybe I should go for that version then on the side and call it a turn. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you go, you go. Yeah, you, that, that, that's for the best of everyone, if you knock out that Zapdos, in all honesty. <laughs> um, since I'm lacking in water, why don't I do this? Well, well mm, I was going to say, I'll put out Magikarp and evolve the Gyarados to stall too, but as long as I have Professor Roar, I might as well use it. <laughs> might as well do that. No, I'll use the, that as a stall as well. Ooh, um... Yeah, that's gonna. That's gotta go. <laughs> um, I might as well build. Let's see before I decide that Professor Oak again. Ah, oh, I should have used this Arcanine instead, but I didn't know it was coming. Well, I could trade for a Dragonair. Mm hmm. Assuming it's in my deck and not in my prize cards. <laughs> oh, you got it. I didn't pass it. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So now we got that set up all pretty, and I could also go for energy removal in the future, <laughs> like just kind of suck the energy out of the electrode. Maybe it could be possible, like super, like super energy removal there. There we go. Take out those electrics. Well, actually, lightning energy removal. Take out that. <laughs> yeah, that that. That's pretty helpful, I gotta say. And I'm done. <laughs> and I could potentially, maybe, even uh, get myself over to the point of being able to attack with Gyarados, as I got the waters. Well, I guess I could see. It requires three waters, so... It probably wouldn't hurt. I mean, I might get energy removal to stall out the electrode anyway after... Woo! <laughs> And done. So yeah, I got the double colorless as a nice little surprise there. Oh man! <laughs> well, actually, that's that's not bad. Because uh, I, I can still double colorless for Hyper Beam. I'm gonna do that. Dragon Rage. I know Dra uh, Gyarados is gonna be kind of hurting after the Electrode here, but it's it should be all right, I think, since we got the Dragonair incoming. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go attach that right away, and I think I'm gonna save the Articuno. 
for whatever he puts out, I would bet Hitmonchan. <laughs> That's just my best guess. Oh, wait, really? Really? Huh. But that's... No, that, that... Why wouldn't you... Mock pun? Oh, th that's right, Resist... Gyarados has resistance to... Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Okay, my bad. <laughs> um... Well, then I could probably just kind of Gyarados sleep, huh? Hmm. Oh, well, for now, let's... Let's power that up! And Dragon Rage. And there we go. Voila! I will take it. There's my other dragon there. So yeah, I didn't pass it up. It was just in the prizes. Defend there. Ooh. That might be a good move. And he might be able to hit my bench. That was a failure. Um, not that I really have all that much vulnerability on the bench, but details. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll dragon rage anyway. I mean, I could... Could have Bubble Beam and possibly cause paralysis, but I don't really think 10 damage to a bench Pokemon is that threatening, in all honesty. <laughs> Alright. Nothing. So, I... I guess I could go for the other Dragonair if I wanted to. And that is probably what I should do, unless Dragon Rage. I guess powering up Gyarados ended up uh, working out after all. I just... that is... I do just forgot about the fighting resistance, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's that's what we call game over. <laughs> Woo! Happy days, happy days. Let's see what we get as a prize. <laughs> Whoa! I've been trampled, just as I suspected. You're tough. I'll give this to you as a prize. It gives the present booster pack, which can contain any card that is in any booster pack. Let's see what we get here. Mm, probably gonna be all duplicates, as expected. Should I have used the other deck instead, I wonder? Come back again, I will lose next time. Ooh, you'll see you, I'll be waiting. So just in case, I'm gonna go save. Just in case he uses the other deck. Uh, back from... Uh, same dialogue. Alright, so I'm just gonna try and beat the, his other deck here. Um. Mm-hmm. See, so it's, it's, it just doesn't let you choose. Uh, that's a no-go, so we gotta do a restart. Because <laughs> I wanna show you both the decks, so... Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, continue game. Here we go again. Duel. Yes, yes, yes. Up it up it up it up it Really? <laughs> I'll, I'll get it eventually. There we go! The Beach Stroll deck! <laughs> so, this is his second deck. Now he took one more try there, and oh, oh yeah, it's a grass and water deck here. Uh, I think his other deck is more threatening in all honesty because of the energy removal and, and what. Again, really? Okay. <laughs> you'll, you'll get basics eventually! I believe in you! But yeah, I just wanted to show both decks for the sake of showing both decks, of course, and... Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't... I, I probably should Magmar. But at the same time, I kind of want to power up a secondary attack, you know? You know? <laughs> So, so I was thinking of leading with Growlithe to give Magmar a little bit more time, but eh, we'll see how things go. But yeah, because yeah, so he's got Grass Pokémon, so I could potentially just sweep with Fire Pokémon. Possibly, maybe, might be. Anyway, he's calling for family, thinning out the deck, getting that bench all full and pretty. I'm gonna put that on there. We're gonna energy removal that Bell Sprout. Just so that I cannot do any sort of dirty work and leave it at that. Well, for now at least. <laughs> he's probably gonna go. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say he's gonna put more, uh, put energy back on the bell sprout. But now nah, I guess he sees that a knockout is impending. So, uh, I I kind of I don't want to discard this many good energies, but I don't have the right. You know, I don't have the right Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, I'll just go for that and see what else I get. I, I'll probably get fire in the next hand. There we go. And... 
we still got water for other stuff. In fact, I got more more water than anything. And let's go for the smog just for fun. It doesn't matter what I use. I just wanted to see the result of the coin flip, because otherwise you'd have to... Yeah, you wouldn't see any sort of coin flip, because Aaron is kind of kind of stuck because of the knockout, so the smoke screen would have no effect in that regard. And unsuccessful. So uh, he's trying to fill his bench for a Wigglytuff like I do. <laughs> Just saying. Keep that in mind as it could be potentially powerful. <laughs> I think he needs more draw power in order to really pull that off quick enough because, you know, you gotta pull the Wigglytuff in order to actually be able to use to do the wave and everything like that, so... And it's doing a little switch, probably to preserve Pokémon for said Wigglytuff excursion. And we're gonna do that, and we're gonna try and poison it. Yeah! I'm not really concerned with the double damage Poliwag Water Gun, because it only do 20. So by the time I uh, it comes back to my turn, I'll be able to knock it out again, as long as I just use Smog. Twice and oh no, no that that'll work too. <laughs> I thought he was gonna switch. All right. Uh, well, mmm, mmm. Wow. Um. Uh, yeah, I got so much energy removal. I don't know what to do. Use it on, you know. I can put that on Growlithe for this Arcanine because remember that version of Arcanine uses double colorless or well two colorless, I should say for the takedown, and it could use it for flamethrower. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't even know if I wanna energy removal anything else. I think I'm in pretty good shape with just the Magmar here. I uh, just, yeah, he doesn't really have that much going on right now. I mean, if he had the Wigglytuff, that would be energy removal worthy, but with just the Jiggly, we are pretty good. Uh, ooh, um, I like <laughs> I got Professor Oak, so I probably should clear out those uh, energy cards now. <laughs> I don't know if I want to discard something attached to my own Pokémon, but yeah. I'll just sadly discard the two energy removal and refill my hand here. See what I get. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh... But primarily, I should probably go for that and set things up for the future. I don't. Yeah, let's just go for the smog. I'm not not sure how to how this will go in general, and I don't. I'm not really in that much of a hurry, <laughs> considering what's out on the board and everything like that. Look at. Oh no, he's so sad. <laughs> and this way. Oh no, can he prevent all damage? No! That means it's game over! Because it's double damage, fieriness, because of the smog. So yeah, that's what I said. I don't think it's quite as good as his other deck, the Bench of Hell deck. <laughs> so I was like, eh, eh, I still gotta show it after all. <laughs> Alright. That takes care of that. Oh, I've been trampled. Is this a present booster pack. Same dialogue, anyway. Uh, oh man. <laughs> We're just building up those dragon air. Okay. Should I have used the other deck instead? I wonder. You may lose next time, but. <laughs> Alright, with, with our deck seemingly successfully tested. Oh, Mint, I have good news. Your fight against Team GR is in its final stages. Don't rush yourself, though. You may err if you hurry too much. Take some time to visit the clubs and collect some new cards. The larger your collection is, the tougher you can make your decks. Indeed, just as I've been saying, do your best, Mint. Your goal is in sight. And thus, we're gonna go flop on over to GR Castle and battle the first guy. I believe his name is Clay. Why, yes, I would like to. <laughs> so I'm gonna skip the cutscenes this way as well, which looks exactly like this. <laughs> That's how you can zip between islands much quicker than waiting for it. You just kinda mash the B button to get through it. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, with Aaron taken out pretty quickly with both of his decks, I figured... I would have another time, I mean, <laughs> I'd have more time for another duel, so we're gonna start out with said clay over here. Here we are. 
Dun 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 <laughs> Are you ready? Well, save your deck. I mean, well, save your game before, just to kind of, you know, for the sake of speed and everything like that. But anyway, Ultras level 40, Arcanoodle level 37, Zapdos level 60, Dragon Dragonite level 41. All four of these cards and Legend into a single deck. Do it. Those are my turns for fighting you. If you've already done so, we may start our fight immediately. Nope. Do you not have the Pokemon cards of Legend? If not, you'll have to strike some sort of deal with the Grandmasters. Okay, so no, no new dialogue, I guess. So, yeah. Clay? Finally time to duel you! Six prize cards! I'll show you how pathetic your power truly is, you little world! We'll just, we'll just wait until he sees the energy removal. <laughs> it's like, what do you do against the energy removal but have energy removal yourself? That is the question. Oh, that's actually kind of kind of iffy opening hand, but... <laughs> well... And the opponent goes first to boot, but well, we're gonna grass Pokemon to start out with. And well, time is a ticket away for the Magmar then, which is not good. So I need uh, another bench Pokemon. That'd be be kind of lovely, but for now I'm gonna smoke screen, try and wipe out the Oddish as quickly as I can, because perhaps maybe I can outpace things. Maybe nope. <laughs> I was gonna say outpace things and win outright just by uh, finishing off things very quickly, but no, nah, that's that's it's not happening. <laughs> and uh, let's see if I wake up. Cause I can. Oh no! <laughs> I was gonna say then I can do a knockout. Then okay, Dratini. I should probably put my focus into that then. And we're gonna call it a turn because things are still not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably get some sort of jar or Professor Oak or something like that, but yeah, as I was saying about my deck here, it's not really the most synergetic, I, <laughs> I guess you could call it, <laughs> because it's, it's like, the strategy of all these cards are everywhere, you know? So it's, it's, yeah, it's not super, super focused or anything like that. There's my Professor Oak, hello there, my old friend. It's good to see you again, and now we shall end this game. <laughs> uh, uh, I could. Mm, I was gonna say I could Pokemon Trader into. Well, actually, I don't, I don't really have to. I was gonna say I could Pokemon Trader into uh, Dragonair, but anyway, I gotta fill up the bench with anything I've got. <laughs> uh. Mm, Oh, actually, I shouldn't have done that, because I I still need to trade for a dragon. Well, I'm fine. At least for the turn. I could always Professor Oak as well, but, um, you know, I'll get another dragon or another Pokemon to use a trader with anyway. So, we'll see. I got plenty of Dratini as well. Yeah, a slight hiccup, I guess, in a way, sort of, kind of. Another Pokemon trader. Yeah, I'm going to go do this, and... Well, actually... Hmm. Eh, I probably should just Professor Oak in general, you know? Because the energy removal is not in my favor right now. There we go. <laughs> uh, so I should probably... Well, I just gotta think about this for a sec here. There's my Dragonair. I'm definitely doing that to save my Dratini and to start sucking out energy. But who do I want to suck the energy out of? Probably the Oddish. And definitely are gonna go wipe out that. I mean, I may, I may get nothing out of the slam attack, so I'm just gonna not take any chances and just kind of suck out that energy off the Charmander. Rid of, yep, there we go. Just kind of play it safe, and... Uh, uh, I should probably put focus into the Lapras, because a fire Pokemon. And Hyper Beam. <laughs> probably. That's probably my best bet. Alright. So now we're in decent shape here. We th I think think things are back under control. Except maybe the Poison Powder. Dang it! <laughs> nah, we're okay. We're okay. We got other options in our plans here. As a matter of fact... 
What if I should go for an Arcanine? Mmm. Mmm. That is that's always an option. Probably. Mmm. But in the meantime, I'm gonna discard that energy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna keep on eliminating his options and kinda wipe the smile off of his face. <laughs> Especially with since, since I had such a bad start. Anyway. And uh, Rotini. You go for another Dragonair. Might as well do that. And I'll, I'll go for the slam this time. I'll probably get one head. Probably. Oh man! <laughs> that's why I don't that's why I don't use slam when I'm <laughs> when I'm going for uh, just consistent damage, because like you never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> and it happened! Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to actually retreat Dragonair. I mean, I mean before, but eh, I don't know. I think we're all right. We got we got enough of an arsenal going on here. Yeah, I'll, I'll just kind of let that happen this time. <laughs> and we're gonna go over to. I was thinking the other Dratini, just to kind of stall a bit, but at the same time, maybe the Lapras would be nicer. Because it's got a lot of HP, and he, I don't think he's gonna do a poison powder with the Oddish. I mean, he, he may, but it just seems like that the AI is like, yeah, it, whenever a Pokemon's about to be knocked out, they just kind of stop attaching energy to it, even if it might be something useful to to do it, you know? So anyway, let's Water Gun and finish off the Oddish. There we go. Yep, should have went with two Hyper Beams. <laughs> Just as I thought I should have. But no, no, I just had to go for the coin flips. <laughs> That's alright. We should be okay. Uh, fire. Still don't really have. Well, I could. Mm, 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 I don't know, really. But I want to. Get an Arcanine, but I don't know if I'll get one anytime soon. Um, I probably should try for the Confuse Ray. Probably. Come on, heads for once. Dang it! Because <laughs> I figure that it could potentially do more damage to itself than I would be able to in that time span. But no, no, my bet luck is back down to nothingness. <laughs> That's okay. We got we got some pretty good reserves of critters, I've got to say. Uh, okay, there's our canine. I wonder if I should just go for the switch then. I mean, that's not the arcane I was thinking I should use because you know, flames of rage. Yeah, it's, it kind of uses a lot of stuff, but I thought I would put that in with a little extra bit of niceness there. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just retreat over to that arcane and hope that my quick attack gets a head flip. Please, for the love of Arceus, thank you! <laughs> it's like, I'm not gonna use the Flames of Rage until it's kinda necessary, you know? Because that, that discard effect is a little bit a little bit on the iffy side. So, as uh, Arcanine accumulates a little bit more damage... Uh, really? <laughs> okay, anyway, as Arcanine accumulates more damage, it should be... All right to use that then, but not no 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 right now. No. <laughs> I mean, as you know, with the flames of rage, it does 40 outright, but yeah, it's, it's the damage counters things that I need. Um, I could have another growl with his backup, I guess. And <laughs> dang it! Why? Why do you hate me so? <laughs> oh, Dark Slow, bro. So you can take up the three basic Pokemon and their evolution cards in the discard pile and kind of fill things up there. I don't know what he grabbed. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Got just the Charmander, I, I suppose. May do nothing. It does nothing! Oh man, I can't believe it! <laughs> uh, Growlithe. And then... Oh. Well. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, <you know. laughs> I just always look at those coin flip attacks. I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> ah, we're okay. Ah, okay, it worked this time. Now, this is probably one of the situations where I'd be better off using the Flames of Rage. Uh, but first, I'm gonna... Wait, actually, wait, hold on. But yeah, 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 I'm gonna Super Energy Removal. Discard that. And then we're gonna go discard probably the Slowpokes. And then we're gonna go Flames of Rage, discard those two, and then let him knock out Arcanine with something on his turn. Or maybe he won't. <laughs> Just... He may very well not, but I'm pretty sure he will be able to um, relatively easily. Probably. Maybe. Might be. <laughs> and, um, well, maybe not. <laughs> okay. I will accept this. Ooh. Ooh, we got another one going there. Alright, let's call it a turn. And I guess I'll put my focus on that. Uh, Dragon Air then, unless I'm able to act actually do something with the Arcanine. I wanna go that Slowpoke. Yeah, call it a turn. <laughs> Things are going pretty decently. Flame Tail, and yeah, uh, I was trying to figure it would have done sooner than later. Ooh, oh, Scoop Up! I could use that to prevent uh, prize card loss. You know what? You know it's kind of funny. I haven't really had the legendaries besides that Zapdos. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's part of why I put the scoop up in there was uh, reuse the legendary. So maybe I'll just let Arcanine get knocked out then. Sorry, my puppy, but it's it's just gotta be sometimes, you know. <laughs> and tail slap for twenty. Guaranteed knockout, regardless of what form the Manders are in. Dragonair plops out, and you know, it looks like I'm forced to do a coin flip, huh? Mm. Come on, heads, come on, heads, okay. Another heads, please, another heads, please. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that uh, Dark Charmeleon could do 70 damage, so that could be a problem, but I've got other backups as well, so we're, we're still okay in that regard. Mm, Slowpoke, tail slapping, okay, well, let's just... Maybe you don't have the energies for the fireballs? Oh yeah, that ah, you got you got psychic. I was not paying attention to that. Anyways, <laughs> bill for two. Uh, but, ah! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Where's my Pokemon trainers? <laughs> um. Well. Yeah, I'm gonna just go for the Hyper Beam. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Alright, one more. And we're not, we're not touching that Zapdos. We're just gonna hold it in our hands between other cards without actually touching it. <laughs> this is not, not the best of cards, let me tell you. Alright, so I might be able to knock out that Charmander this turn. Especially if I had Lapras powered up, but... <laughs> um, I'm tempted to do the, to use this, because I, I still have, you know, I'm going for the Slam anyway. And I, and I never really got the show of the Dragonite, just in general, so... Behold the Healing Wind when it comes into play! Two damage counters from every Pokémon on our side of the field! Woo! <laughs> Should I try to knock out, like, if I do damage to the Charmander or the Oddish with the Zapdos, I'll be able to get that knockout. Should I, just for kicks, even though I have the worst luck in the world? I mean, I even have Scoop Up to reuse it if I if I so desire. Oh, jeez, I did it! <laughs> okay, what's it gonna hit? What's it gonna hit? It actually works! It hit his side! <laughs> I mean, it didn't really cause a knockout or anything like that, but I guess I could try that again. This is for the kick. It's probably gonna hit my Dragonite this time. Uh, it hits Oddish? Really? I had no faith in you, Zapdos, but you came through for me! <laughs> I 
I just had to see. <laughs> I was really expecting something on my side to be just decimated by that, but nah. I guess it's no fluke that you made it this far. Rocket booster pack, yeah. Okay. Assault booster pack. <laughs> Probably more duplicates. Oh, uh, Magneton. I don't think you've seen the base set variety of this at level 28. Cause paralysis for 3 for 30. Not bad in on itself, I suppose. Self destruct, 20 damage to each Pokemon at either player on each player's bench. That's a lot of damage. Plus this, the 80 to the opponent's active Pokemon and to itself at 60 HP. So you can't use just one defender to save it from a self KO. That could potentially be a problem. But at the same time, you're doing so much damage with it, it might actually be worth it going for that. Perhaps, maybe, depending on the situation. But that 60 HP, yeah, it's probably not going to last all that long. So you probably want to power it up on the bench before you put it out and just blow it up at the last minute after it takes some damage from other stuff. But in the meantime, you're going to be thunder shocking. But yeah, it's a it's an interesting Magneton to play around with, despite the low HP. Because it's like, it, it always puts the opponent in the situation where it's like, mm, it might, might explode, when's it gonna explode? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I won't lie, well, I admit that you do have some strength. You may have won against me, but Allison is still here. There's no way you'll be here. You'll never make it to Villasini. Go on, it's time to fight Allison. Clay, please step aside. Everything rests on my shoulders now. Ah. And now he's Judge. <laughs> oh, even if you did beat Clay, you still must defeat me as well. I use one of three special rules against my challengers. The first rule is Tough Escape. All Pokémon retreating to the bench pay one extra energy card to do so. As such, Pokémon normally paying one energy to retreat must now play two. My second rule is Black Hole. All cards placed into the discard pile are removed from the game. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Finally, I may implement the low resistance rule. The reduction of resistance on attacks is 10 instead of 30. When you're duel against me, one of the three rules will be in effect. That said, will you fight me or will you withdraw? I will not duel you right now. Do you need time to prepare? Well, that's just time wasted. <laughs> no matter what you conjure up, the result of our duel will be the same. Will it? My deck is prepared to handle any challenger with ease. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I battle Allison. And it's going to be a battle unlike you've ever seen before. <laughs>